Hello, my name is Lauren Collender and I am going to be talking uh, about adding basic authentication into an ExistDB app. The source code for my examples are on my GitHub site, uh, github.com, lcollender, mysec. All right, here you can see we've added a greeting to the user and a login button uh, to the template for the page. And so the first step, create the app. In this case, MySec. Okay. Um, we're going to first need uh, four functions uh, that we're going to add to the app.xql and uh, these may end up being added uh, to a standard uh, function module uh, for exist in the future but for now we add it to app and so the first is if an attribute is set and so it checks to make sure that the attribute uh, is exists and also and well if the attribute name exists and the it is on the request and so if it's set we we process the contents and the following is if attribute unset and so if the attribute is not set then we process the contents of the tag. And then app username, it replaces that existing uh, text node or existing node uh, with the username. And if there is no user, we show guest. And then app user info, we get the username and the group and the user ID and return that in a map. Okay, first things first, in the controller.xql, we add the import of the module uh, namespace for the login, the persistent login function module uh, that is a standard resource in exist. And then here uh, we have the domain for the app, org exist-db.mysec for this example. And then uh, the user, uh, which is the login domain with dot user and then we get the check for the parameter logout and we set user ID and then in the page te uh, the template for the page we add the navbar elements and nav navbar nav right which pushes it off to the right side of the nav bar and so we uh, first have a greeting to the user and then if the attribute is if the user attribute is set then the link is for the logout and if the attribute is not set then it's for the login panel. And the href is hash login modal. And then the next thing we do is we add the login panel HTML. And you can see we have the div ID login modal. And so you can see it's basically it's it's a form. And 
and then at the end of the page.html before the end, uh, before the close body tag we have a div uh, templates if parameter unset or exist DB my sec user and if not if it's not set then we do templates include and we add the login panel okay and so you can see here no user is logged in it's a greeting guest and we've got the login button you click on the login button and we've got the modal panel for the login and here we're logging is in as admin we click the login and then you show uh, the same page with hello admin and then an X for the logout. Now to add a secured page or secured pages, uh, we first create a collection admin and then we copy the controller.xql from the root into the admin and then we have add on the else if ends with exist resource dot html we check and see if the attribute is uh, for org exist, exist db my sec user is set if set then the user is properly logged in and here we could also add other checks you know is the user an admin and in this case we just assume they are and then it does the normal dispatch if the user attribute is not set uh, then we do a forward to security.html and so then the only page that you see doesn't matter what the URL is you know what the HTML page is whatever uh, you're going to just get the security.html so then we add the security.html and so we have here uh, this is a protected page you must be logged in as a user with the appropriate privileges and that is in a alert uh, danger alert panel and then uh, the index.html uh, we have the basically an alert success and so that you can see and then we go to the index.html on the admin uh, collection we're logged in and we aren't logged in so we're a guest and we have this is a protected page you must be logged in as a user with the appropriate privileges and when we log in we get the regular index page and so that is basically it and so again my name is Lauren Collender my company is Great Link Up and the source code is on my github page github.com lcolander mysec and there's my linkedin page and my home page i appreciate your attention thank you